It seems that Martin Lawrence's breakout and Jamie Foxx's mystery health worry are quite similar. When discussing Jamie's hospitalization in 1996, the actor claimed that Jamie was being targeted for eradication, just like many other talented but suddenly unfavorable black celebrities in show business. It seems that we are coming closer to learning the genuine facts, sounds the falsehoods that the business tries to feed us despite the lack of official updates on Fox's health. Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel for trending gossips. I consistently offer you the most recent news by keeping an eye on the most talked about happenings in the entertainment industry. Jamie Foxx, an Oscar-winning actor, is still in the hospital getting better from the unexplained medical condition that first stunned Hollywood three weeks ago. We currently know very little about the actor's condition, and it's been reported that even his treating physicians don't fully comprehend the causes of his unexpected health emergency. Meanwhile, this incident has many celebrities paying attention. Additionally, as they discuss Foxx's hospitalization, more and more worries and inquiries surface. It seems that not even Jamie's closest friends are aware of the reality of his situation. And others even began to imply that there are certain individuals who do not believe the actor is still alive and that the whole affair was nothing more than an effort to end his life. When he saw his friend Jamie fighting for his life, Martin Lawrence was unable to remain silent and voiced his own opinion about Jamie's predicament. Fans instantly began to speculate following it, however. If Jamie became yet another unruly star they wish to get rid of, and if the forces that run Hollywood are somehow connected to this occurrence, we'll be riding on. Pistol waving and yelling on the street. They are attempting to murder me. For millions of admirers, Jamie Foxx's condition continues to be mysterious. Since the day the actor was rushed to an Atlanta hospital, almost three weeks have passed with no word on his condition. Most importantly, Jamie Stanley asked for privacy and refused to make any public statements. However, at the same time, there has been a significant outpouring of celebrities who have expressed their opinions on social media and some of them have even shared memories of meeting or working with Jamie. With such an air of secrecy surrounding the actor, it is difficult to avoid the conclusion that there is something fishy going on here. Fans understandably began to worry when they saw how many illicit celebrities would be paying public tributes. Despite rumors that Jamie was just overworked and that his condition was brought on by stress and issues on set, neither his PR team nor his family have made any statements. Additionally, there have been claims that police have visited the actor in the hospital, so the situation is beginning to resemble a criminal drama or at the very least, an effort to get rid of Jamie. Definitely not fatigue or whatever else the media attempts to convince us of. Fans came to some conclusions and reportedly discovered numerous horrifying parallels between Jamie's present hospitalization and Martin Lawrence's breakout in 1996, back in the days when unusual behavior on the streets was not common. Martin Lawrence, an actor and comedian, was seen by witnesses sprinting out of the street and screaming until police came. He tried to fight them off even as they were trying to hold him back. Martin, who was just 30 years old in 1996, was finally apprehended when witnesses spotted him running into oncoming traffic with a revolver while swearing, gesticulating with his hands, and screaming at moving vehicles. Many rumors surfaced following the actor's hospitalization, but the actor was primarily accused of being crazy and using drugs. Later, Martin made an attempt to defend himself by claiming that everything had been exaggerated by the tabloids, especially their portrayal of him as a drug user. Even though he claimed to have had similar encounters in the past, the media completely distorted the story in order to increase paper sales and ratings. Martin said, they made a lot of things up to sell a better story. In reference to this event, you can't really understand what it's like until you've experienced it. It seems like there is nothing about Jamie that the media can make up. All journalists and even some of Jamie's close friends are unable to visit his hospital room because the family has locked themselves inside. Despite claims that Fox is already awake and attentive, his family makes an effort to limit contact with him, perhaps to prevent anybody from making frightening efforts to approach the vulnerable actor based only on appearances. Many fans believe that something is actually wrong in the Hollywood environment because there are numerous instances like this where a good and nice person is all of a sudden labeled as a crazy addict or anything else. The damaging wheels of the industry are working diligently to take another innocent life. All of them joined up for the fame and wealth according to a fan, and now they are trapped within the business with only two options for escaping, zombie land or death. Another person said, you know, when you stop to think about it, he said that the Hollywood industry is going to oust another top celebrity that happened a couple of months ago. Damn shame. He was right too. According to reports, if you cause too much trouble for the business, you either go insane or find yourself in a hospital. This is the reason Jamie's family is guarding him from any negative influences from outside. 
They are aware that Jamie was a target of an assault, and as several physicians have said, he is fortunate to be alive. He had been in danger for days, the source said, and had to be revived. Being alive is a huge blessing for him. He was quite fortunate to get the therapy he got. Well, it seems more than evident why his family forbids any media leaks. The truth of why Jamie was transported to the hospital so hurriedly was only revealed to a small number of his close friends. What else keeps the actor in bed? Martin Lawrence has been blaming his surroundings for over three weeks since he had a similar situation in the past and had to go through hell to escape being institutionalized. Martin also feels obligated to defend Jamie as a friend and a fellow black actor since, at one point, he too was shielded from the destructive Hollywood culture by Dave Chappelle, a longtime friend of his. Dave boldly said that it was beyond unbelievable to see a strong and healthy guy like Martin shatter like this while describing Martin's supposed breakdown. And, as Dave noted, something was unquestionably wrong with the entire scenario. I'll ask you this now. How is Hollywood faring these days? That tough guy would be screaming, they're trying to kill me, while brandishing a gun in the street. What is happening? Then Dave went on to talk about the situation in Hollywood, noting that many prominent individuals now work in shady and poisonous environments because they are going insane, being labeled as mad, or just being institutionalized for no apparent reason. Dave asked what is happening in Hollywood. Nobody is aware. It would be difficult for a guy like Jamie Foxx to cause any issues for the influential in business. The actor is one of the greatest that Hollywood has to offer, according to Martin Lawrence. A decent guy as well as one of the finest performers. Fans now believe that Jamie was simply too talented for the business and may have even desired to leave the oppressive environment. And this is how he made the purchase. A few years ago, Jamie said that he would be making a quick career change and directing his first film. The project was shortly cancelled since it was a notice to someone that the actor intended to leave his contract. The actual reason Jamie's comedy never made it to the light has never been revealed. However, as the media implied, Fox's project was too provocative for studios because some of the jokes he wrote for the movie scenario went way over the line. Well, it just goes to show how little power celebrities actually have over their lives and endeavors. And despite the backing of a list celebrities like Robert Downey Jr., Benicio Del Toro, Eva Longoria, Gerard Butler, and Gerard Butler, the influential people decided what should be allowed to appear on screen. Burying your hopes of making your directorial debut, though, could seem little compared to losing your life and mine. And it is for just this that Jamie Foxx is now fighting. While he is protected by his family and shielded from everyone who wishes him harm. While Martin Lawrence hasn't seen his friend either, Foxx's family has given him some updates. And it was obvious that he was very worried and perplexed about everything. Martin really hopes for his friend's recovery and that he avoids being stigmatized as insane or dependent by the media. Lawrence gladly accepts. Martin told the press that he would pray for his pal on his journey to recovery and that the family is keeping snooping media away from the actor. I understand he's improving, however. Every evening, I pray for him and send him my best wishes. Many claim that Jamie is simply another business victim, just as Martin was in 1996. And it's likely that the press stories concerning the actor's health concerns are untrue. As is customary with celebrities, they are powerless. Fans are adamant that Hollywood is not safe, particularly if you refuse to do as you are instructed. According to one commenter, both Hollywood and the music business are quite murky, yet a lot of people are prepared to sell their souls to be a part of them. Hopefully, Jamie is not the target of a plot. Offer him and his family your prayers. Another individual said that these celebs need to be more forthcoming about their personal lives. They alone have the power to initiate the transformation. We now have no other option but to pray for Jamie's recovery. Without any official updates, crazy rumors and theories continue to circulate on social media. What do you think? The whole affair seemed to have dragged on for too long. Is Jamie's family really defending the performer from the clutches of the business? Will we ever discover the unvarnished truth that the media has not fabricated? Post your ideas in the comments section below. I'm curious to hear your thoughts. Check out my second video regarding Jamie's health scare in the meantime. It seems that the identity of the guy who planned the whole event has already been made public. I guess that's everything for today. I appreciate your attention. Remain tuned. I also pledge to return soon with more rumors regarding your favorite celebs.